So the line-up for heat number 13 off the inside in red is Leon Madsen. Gate number two in blue is Dan Bewley. Gate number three in white is Bartosz Schmarzlik and Patrick Dudek off the outside in the yellow helmet colour. Good looking lineup, Chris. Oh, it is a smashing looking lineup, and with Leon Madsen finding his feet in his last ride and off the inside gate, that's really going to mix it up. Dan Bewley is not going to want to put himself under pressure with another bad ride with one heat to go. Of course, even if he finished last here, he could still make nine points, but he'd be under pressure then. He would indeed, so he'd be looking to pick up a point at the very minimum. Gate number two, when we looked at the gate success just a few moments earlier, actually is working nicely. So, uh, and we're seeing point scoring. Pretty even right across from gates one through four. So uh, every opportunity to get amongst the points from irrespective of where you're going to start from. Start Marshall having a close look at Leon Madsen as he did in the previous race. I can't leave him alone, can't leave him alone. Heat number 13 then, smashing looking lineup. Tapes up now. Away we go. What a start from uh, Bewley, but it's Madsen who gets there. Bartosz Smarslik cutting back to the inside. Oh. What a first corner from Smarslik, but Leon Madsen has responded superbly well. Fires himself to the front. And Madsen all of a sudden really coming on strong here. Dudek is in the third place with Bewley now relegated to the back. That's disappointing for Bewley who started in fine style with con consecutive race wins. But look at Madsen go. Once he hits the front, we suspected he had speed because he was lurking when he was in traffic, but he's fast in front here. Yeah, his head's up after a good uh, second ride, third ride, sorry, and he's now out front again. He's just growing in confidence. I tell you what, Bartosz Smarslik, not his usual self. He lifted again off the start and didn't get the momentum going into the first turn. All open up for him when they all move wide he just snuck around the inside and uh, opportunist move really but a couple of important points for him indeed it is Bewley coming on strong here trying to get up here the inside of Bewley uh, uh, Dudek and Bewley's come through in the third place a handy point for him but for Leon Madsen back to back race wins wins heat 13 in fine style so he's won 12 and 13 picks up six points there in two consecutive races so Madsen all of a sudden, moving on to nine and set for the semi-finals. When he was uh, down in the dumps and moaning and groaning a touch, all of a sudden it may well be a very different attitude now. Three points for Leon Madsen out in front. Bartosz Smarslik, two points for him. Dan Bewley picks up a handy point in third place and Patrick Dudek misses out in heat number 13. Just shows you how quickly things can change, Chris, because uh, three points from two rides, nine points from four. Yeah, Brilliant stuff. We see there that uh, it's Bewley that makes a decent start, but Schmarslik lifts when he drops the clutch, then the bike snakes, and then uh, it's Leon Madsen with all the speed down the straight, but uh, it's Bewley there, just collected the rut, moved much wider than he wanted to, of course, give Madsen a nice clear run around the corner, but Schmarslik is looking rattled, he's looking a little bit unsettled. Of course, last time in uh, Molilla wasn't his best round, of course, not actually making the final for the first time this year, so uh, are we seeing a chink in his armor? Well, possibly, but some... Uh, only I'm a not, small one. Only a tiny one, yeah. <laughs> but uh, a good move later yeah, on by Dan yeah. Bewley to come through to steal third place away from Patrick Dudek. He'll be pleased with that, just to get himself back on the score chart and moving on to seven points.